When you're working with your students, um, you'll see many common errors uh, related to breathing. Um, the most common one is students who believe that they are doing deep breathing when in fact um, they're actually inhibiting that deep breath. Um, a common thing that you'll see are students who take a breath like this. <gasps> if you see the shoulders raising, and try that right now on your own, <gasps> you'll notice that it pinches the throat. It also compresses the upper lungs, making it more difficult for the ribs to expand. Uh, another commonality that you'll see, or more accurately hear, are students who take a really inhibited breath. So the shoulders stay in place, the body looks so correct, but when you listen to their breath, you're going to hear that uh, high and raspy. <sighs> Try that right now. <sighs> You'll notice that when they do that, the tongue is very high in the back of the mouth, the throat is restricted, and the air really doesn't get all the way down to the that ad 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 abdominal floor. Um, rather, it just stays up at the very top. Um, if you have a student who's doing this, return to some of the activities uh, that we did earlier, particularly um, timed breathing and the Santa exercise. These help build that lung capacity and help students be aware of how much space they have. Another quick reminder uh, within the classroom is to just yawn yourself. Uh, this becomes a really powerful visual cue that if you all of a sudden go, the students have that understanding that they also need to take that deep breath.